All right, so welcome to another video. And in today's session, what I'd like to do is share with you some thoughts about five great things about trading vertical spreads. So uh, we're doing this video in order to share with you some insight on uh, one of the latest uh, classes or courses that we have just released. If you go to the tradersfly.com uh, website, just scroll down in the link in the description below, uh, you can visit this website. And then um, what you'll see is we've just released our verticals uh, course. So this is from our options mastery series, and you can go ahead and click it and uh, it'll take you right through uh, to that page where you get some more insight on what this uh, course is all about. Now, this course is already 18 hours long. It's got 42 videos. And until November 30th, you do get a discount or promotion for $100 off um, as long as you buy before that date. Um, so make sure you get it before uh, November 30th of this year of uh, 2022. Uh, and then you'll be able to get a, a discount on the course and promotion because we do that when the um, courses are new and uh, released. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of uh, concepts here that we cover when it comes to trading vertical spreads, and they're so powerful when it comes to uh, trading verticals. There's, there's a lot of flexibility to them, and we cover strategies with uh, examples in this. So definitely check this course out. So anyway, I'm going to share with you some of my uh, uh, insights on why I like vertical spreads and just some of the reasons uh, behind them and, and some of the great benefits to them. So let's kind of kick things off and uh, we're going to go here to the uh, paper. So five cool things I like about vertical spreads. So the first thing is, it's that they're really simple to construct. So it's very simple construction. It's really only two legs uh, when it comes to vertical spreads, which means it lowers your commissions because you're not dealing with like an iron condor or a butterfly. So two legs is nice. And then you also, if you're just doing a vertical, let's say you're selling a, a vertical spread, something like this, it looks like that. Uh, you really only have risk in one direction, which is this way. Or stock can even stand still and you still make money. Stock can stand still, pull back a little bit or go up and you're still fine. So as we look into this construction and we uh, take a look at it here on the panel and platform, here's a vertical spread and I'm going to go in and uh, just pop one in on Home Depot. Here's 250-245, and uh, we're selling a vertical. Let's go to 265 and 260. Here we go. Okay, so this might be a nice vertical spread. Okay, so we've got a vertical spread constructed. And now, if that stock stands still, okay, look right here. If it stands still, we make money because of the theta decay. If it goes up slowly or fast, we make money. Or if it pulls back, as long as it's kind of above this uh, line right there, um, we should be good to collect our, our premium or profit. In this case, we're collecting 95 cents or in other words, $95 since every contract represents 100 shares. Okay, so that's why it's $95. And then at the end of it, um, we've got 10 contracts here. We could make $950 on a risk of about $4,000 here. Okay, so risking about uh, $4,050 to make maybe $950. So it's very nice risk to reward ratio. It's a, it's very simple. Look, all I'm doing is I'm selling one and I'm buying one. And uh, then I'm multiplying it times multiple contracts. So uh, these spreads are very easy to construct compared to some other trade strategies. Uh, so it's really nice uh, when it comes to um, uh, vertical spreads. So uh, definitely a simple construction is nice. Also, they're a great starting point to other strategies. So if you plan to later do iron condors or even butterflies, this is a great starting point. So learning to trade verticals will definitely give you uh, an edge or kind of a good foundation, I guess, uh, to trading other strategies. So now if I go in and uh, let's say we sell some more things over here now, sell, sell a vertical, and I could sell 10 of these, um, now I've got myself an iron condor. Okay. So this makes it pretty nice and, and powerful. It, it's a good foundation. Now you can see, oh, I got two verticals on each side and I've got myself, uh, an iron condor. So I got a vertical on the call side. And then I also have this vertical on the put side and together they make an iron condor. Or even if you bring it closer, they could convert into a butterfly. So let's say I go in and take this into, let's go to 290 and 280 okay so what you'll see is slowly this will start forming into kind of a butterfly i'm not going to do it all at once right away but you see what's happening here okay it's slowly merging into a butterfly right here okay and right here take a look it's coming into a butterfly 
and now we're right there as a butterfly okay and uh, that's the base construction now you could also do something where um, you have unbalanced butterflies where now you could go in and just say okay well sell 14 on the put side and 10 on the call side and now you've got yourself a different construction but the point being is is that you could really create some nice spreads and constructions here when it comes to uh, verticals. There's a lot of creativity behind it. Now, do you have to do it that way or do you have to get that crazy? No, but I'm saying if you wanted to, verticals are a good foundation for all that stuff. Okay, the other thing is it's all in one month. That's part of the simple construction, but it's all in one month or one expiration at least, which makes it a lot easier than uh, some of the other trades. Uh, see, everything that we do in, in the vertical is all in the same expiration. Okay, it's not like a calendar uh, or a diagonal where we go in and we buy one and sell one at a different expiration, which can really skew things and make things a little bit confusing. So you can see here, this one with a calendar, I've got a December 2 and a December 9th. Instead, with the vertical, I got everything in December 16th. So the calendar can be a bit more confusing or even uh, diagonal can be even more confusing. So as you start skewing some of these things and start rotating them, uh, they can be really um, weird and it makes it much more complicated. Now, I'm not saying they're worse. I'm just saying that it just makes it more difficult. So it takes oftentimes more study time to learn those uh, than it does verticals for most people. Not always the case, but for most people. Okay. Um, so that's what's nice about verticals is that since they're all in one expiration, you don't have to stress about uh, splitting expirations and um, you know making it a little too confusing okay that also means they're easy to tweak roll or adjust so with verticals they're just probably one of the easiest to kind of tweak roll or adjust or if anything happens uh, if there's a problem uh, you can uh, pretty simply um, make a quick manipulation and it should be good to go or at least it's fairly easy to so if you take a look at something like this where we're selling um, this vertical spread right here if I started to get in trouble on this one, it started to pull back, okay, uh, what you could do is, let's say it gets down to 280, well, you could take the loss here, okay, if this is getting in trouble, and you could slowly say, okay, well, I'll just move it further and go wider. So what it would allow you to do is start expanding this a little bit more to wider. Now, granted, you take a little bit of a loss, but you'll create a safer position. So as this gets closer to this problem area or spot, it would allow you to uh, widen this out and um, then uh, create a little bit of a safer position. So the tweaks are always fairly simple when it comes to uh, vertical spreads. Also, if you couldn't get that range uh, there in the same expiration by rolling you know, a little left or, or widening it, you could go to another expiration and uh, roll it to a further date by increasing your date and time. Um, then you'd be able to be a, uh, get a little bit more wider or range and give that um, stock a little more time to work out in your favor. So anyway, the rolls, the tweaks, uh, those kinds of things, if you're into doing those things, uh, they're fairly simple with verticals, um, unlike some other strategies that can be a little more complicated, like uh, let's say a back ratio spread or something like that. And then finally, the other thing is that uh, you can play probabilities with ranges and take take it to expiration if you like. So that's probably the next uh, best thing uh, when it comes to trading verticals. So I'll show you this example here where we could go in and create a much wider range and probabilities by just uh, picking things up and uh, going a little wider. So I could go in and do something with a few different... Uh, strikes here and by doing that you'll be able to see that okay at the I could sell something at the 245 or all the way up to the 260 now I get less credit the further out I go but look at the range I get I get 10 20 30 40 points on the stock uh, at 245 and if I'm doing that on December 16th so let's go December 16th, uh, 245. Basically have a 90% uh, chance of, of success. In other words, if I'm selling. So let's go to out of the money over here. So it's 87%. So it's almost a 90% chance of success. Now I could go closer and sell something at the 260. I get a little more credit, but I only have 
maybe 75% chance of success. So my point is, is look, I could get way more range here or I could go a little closer in or even closer in or even closer in. So you see what happened is that each time it gets just a little bit closer in uh, with that. And I make a little more credit with each one. But what my, my point here is, is that I'm able to play the probabilities uh, based on you know the numbers I, I, I want. So if I want a higher probability or chance of success or uh, trying to take the trade to expiration, I could say, okay, well, I'll take less credit or premium, um, but then I get a very good chance of it working out. On the other hand, I could say, well, I'll take um, you know less chance of it working out, but I might be able to get a higher credit. So it allows you to kind of balance and juggle those things based on uh, your personal preference um, of what you want to do. So anyway, uh, that's kind of another cool thing with uh, verticals here uh, that you're able to uh, do when it comes to this uh, trade construction. So anyways, that's kind of a few of my um, favorite things about verticals and some of the, the cool things behind them. Um, basically, they're very simple, the two legs, lower commissions. Uh, they're all in one month or expiration. That makes it kind of the simple things. Also, they're easy to tweak, roll, and adjust. It's a good beginner strategy as well um, and a starting point to other strategies because it can lead to iron condors and butterflies. And you can play the probability uh, game and ranges and even take it to expiration, whereas some other trades you can't, like a calendar, diagonal. You don't really take it to expiration uh, that much. So anyway, those are some of the uh, really great things I like about it. That's some of the reasons why we uh, cover this uh, course here in the uh, Options Mastery uh, course. So definitely take a look at the website here on uh, tradersfly.com. And uh, like I said, up until November 30th of this year, 2022, um, we do have a discount and promotion on uh, verticals here, verticals 2.0. You can uh, click it, learn more about it. There's a little video demo there as well for you and uh, highly encourage you to take advantage of it. We go over uh, different strategies for verticals. There's different ways to trade verticals. And then there's some trade examples for each one. And we'll probably continue to expand that as the um, over the next couple months as we add more uh, videos to the uh, course there. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Hope that helps. Hope you join us in the course. And if you have any questions, do reach out on our website at tradersfly.com. You can also book a single one-on-one -on -one coaching session uh, if you're struggling or if you just prefer to work one-on-one -on -one more specifically because um, there's even people that I work with for three months, six months, nine months at a time. Um, and we continue to work on all kinds of different strategies together. So thanks for joining me. Hope that helps. Enjoy the rest of the week ahead and I will see you on the next video.